Hello everyone! In this video, I will be giving a presentation on my book chapter, Topophilia. What is it? How does it develop? And what are the psychological impacts? This presentation summarizes what I wrote, so if you want to know more at the end, my book chap a link to my book chapter will be in the description below. Without further ado, let me begin. In this presentation, I'll be answering these three questions. One, what is topophilia? Two, how does it develop? And three, what are the psychological impacts of topophilia? Before I continue, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt tied to a certain, to a specific place? Have you ever fallen in love with your surroundings? This feeling of love for specific areas is known as topophilia. Coined by geographer Yi Fu Tuan, he, he defines topophilia as an effective bond with one's nature, a person's mental, emotional, and cognitive ties to a place. It is our sense of origin and our sense of community. It is not just a love of nature, but rather all aspects of a place. The idea of topophilia builds upon a biophilia, a love of nature. While well, biophilia focuses on life and lifelike and life -like processes, Topophilia includes the non-alive processes as well. For example, in this slide image, biophilia means we only love the trees. Topophilia includes everything like the rocks. There are two main theories as to how topophilia develops. The first is the cultural perspective. Topophilia is a personal experience that is developed throughout our lives. It is influenced by our social, economic, and cultural factors. The second is the evolutionary perspective. This perspective means topophilia is a biological process. It is a behavioral system that, it, that builds upon our gene expression and environmental interaction. Topophilia is just a tool for survival. Currently, there is a debating whether topophilia is a cultural evolutionary phenomenon. Topophilia psychologically impacts us in two main ways. It improves our quality of life and affects our childhood. Studies have shown that nurturing our relationship with nature improves our mental health, which improves our quality of life. This studies have also shown that it is present within our childhood. It slowly develops, but studies have shown that adults will describe their childhood home with personal meaning. Topophilia is our effective bond with our surroundings. It is an explanation for our relationship with nature, regardless of whether it is a cultural or evolutionary phenomenon, one thing is clear. It improves our quality of life and is continuously growing feeling that is born during our childhoods. By deepening our connections with nature, our lives improve.